Hey there, this is Martin Cliff from the um, band's Fallen Angel and also Voyager Project. Um, and I thought I'd shoot this little video to show you my guitar rig, how it all works, how it all fits together, and also what it sounds like. So, looking first at the pedal board, um, as you can see, the bit that controls it all is an RJM Music Mastermind. Uh, which is a great little controller. I previously used Rocktron All Access controllers, which were great, but they're big and heavy. And this is nice and small, it does everything I need it to do. Um, I've got a Boss FV500H as my expression pedal on the left there, which enables me to, which is plugged into the Mastermind and enables me to control the effects processes in my rack. My wah pedal is a um, Morley Bad Horsey, uh, just the standard Bad Horsey 1, which I think is great. I prefer it to the Bad Horsey 2, and it really works very well for me in terms of being spring-loaded, so auto-off. Um, I find it really, really good wah for my playing style. And finally on the board, there's a Morley Little Alligator volume pedal. I know a lot of people don't like them because they're active, you have to power them but um, it just sounds really good to my ears and it really works well with my rig and that's all connected to the rack via a pedal snake okay so it's a basic um, stereo rig that I run uh, two heads a whole bunch of pedals and a couple of processors uh, the heads are a PVJSX and a PVXXX as you can see there uh, I use all three channels, they're all switched by, via RJM Music RG16 using the function switches. Um, I guess I'm unusual in that even though I play a lot of metal I don't have my gain very high. Uh, as you can see on my lead channel there my gain's on about 3 on the JSX and maybe 4 on the XXX. I find I get plenty of chunk on my guitar has high output pickups anyway. So, I mean, it, it all works fine for me, like that. Now, in the rack, on the top shelf there, I've got, um, there's actually five Marshall pedals, so you can't see one of them because it's at the back. There's, um, at the back is a Marshall ED1 Edward the Compressor, compressor pedal, um, which is a really great compressor pedal for the money. It's very cheap, but it does the job nicely. There's a couple on the right hand side of Marshall Blues Breaker pedals. I have one set as a boost and one as an overdrive. And then there's a regenerator pedal and an echo head, which again come before the amps and um, yeah, for that kind of tape echo Eric Johnson style thing. And the regenerator is used as a phaser. Uh, I'm hoping at some point to replace that with a phase 90, the ubiquitous phase pedal, but that just hasn't happened yet. Below that, we've got the um, main power, uh, the power distribution unit, which is an ART model, just the basic model. Uh, and then the Korg tuner, it's a DTR-1000. I didn't see the point in paying the extra money for the DTR-2000 uh, when it does essentially the same job for what I need it to do. You can probably see that it got a little bit bashed when my drummer got a bit close to it, but the front input still works fine. It, amazingly survived the impact um, remarkably well. Now on the second shelf down um, there's a Boss Acoustic Simulator pedal and then there's a couple of Boss DS1s. The one on the right is a Keeley mod um, and the one on the left is the Monty Allums Rectifier mod. And finally on that shelf we have my line mixer. Also in the back which you probably can't see there is a little Samson mixer um, which I use purely for mixing the two effect sends from the two heads which then goes to the post effect processing stuff. The rack processors I have, I have two Digitech GSP 1101s which are fantastic for the money. Um, the top one I use for modelling of distortion pedals, overdrive pedals as well as for chorus and reverb and all that stuff that comes after the amp. The second one is purely used as a post processor for chorus and reverb and delays. Though I don't use a whole lot of reverb. 
Uh, they're both running um, beta version C48 of the um, from MustBeBeta.com, uh, which is a really stable firmware. I've not had any trouble with it since I installed it. And below them, there is a TC Electronic G Major. Now, all the switching uh, that happens on this rig is from these two RJM Music uh, items. The Effect Gizmo, which was custom programmed for me with an extra feature by Ron Manelli, who's just a great guy. RJM make the best switching gear I've ever come across. It's fantastic. And they're so wonderful customer support. And below that, the RG16 which switches all the amp channels, it switches pedals on and off. Uh, I also use the Effect Gizmo as my head selector. It has some pedals um, before it and it's also, if I activate loops 9 and 10 simultaneously, the way I've got it routed, it's so that the G major feeds into the into the um, second GSP-1101 in series rather than running in parallel as they normally do. And finally in the bottom there there's a Samsung SCOM stereo compressor which just takes the signal from the two sends uh, from the heads before they go to the, the mini mixer and that's used primarily as a noise gate. Um, there's a little bit of gentle compression going on there just to smooth things out but mostly it's a noise gate so the high gain sounds when I stop playing the noise stops as well. In terms of speaker cabs um, I have two Laney GS212 IE speaker cabs which are about probably the cheapest 2x12s on the market uh, but they're really great sounding they've got Celestian 7080s in which work really well with these speaker cabs I've tried much more expensive speaker cabs and I really like the sounds of these and I usually mic them up as you can see with uh, Sennheiser E606 microphones one on each cab Okay, so that's what it looks like, that's what it does, what does it sound like? Let's have a listen. <laughs> 